Hey guys, it's Jina. Today we're gonna be showing you how to do Payday 2 boost your FPS. It's a beginner's guide and we're gonna be using our level 1 account. So nothing, this is all fresh. I've reset all my uh, video stats, which is your main thing. Although these are pretty cool as well. But today I'm going to be focusing on how to boost your FPS. So first of all, you want to go into your starting screen, your options menu, and then you want to go to your video. Now, first of all, what you want to do is turn your effect quality right down and your brightness right up. Your brightness will allow you to see better in the dark and your effect quality will lower your FPS a bit. And your resolution, you want to change it to 800 by 600 resolution. It will look terrible, but it will increase your FPS by a lot. Next, you want to go to your advanced and change your texture quality to low, very low, shadow quality to very low, and stop the filtering to none, animation quality to low, and the aliasing off, ambient occlusion, occlusion off, you want to turn your vsync on, or if you have a high Hertz rate to refresh rate on your monitor. Next, you want to change quartz limit from anywhere high increased or whatever to low. Then, you want to change your color grading to default. And that's it. You, want, you can adjust your field of view, it doesn't really matter that much. But yeah, that's the settings that you should have. If you want, you can also uh, inc um, uh, you can switch on full screen. This also helps a bit, and change your monitor to one. If you're using more monitors, it will slow you down. And that's it. This for so as you can see, I'm in the game. I switched off VSync. Um, I forgot to say that you should also uh, make. Switch off depth of. I switch off VSync to show you that uh, in the top right corner FPS to show you how high it can go. So currently, I'm getting averaging around 150 FPS, which is not bad. So it's really smooth. Uh, but I'm gonna make this loud. So I'm gonna put on my bass and start shooting. Get someone to call, and then when the cops come, this is very hard mode though. So it won't be as bad, but um, it's it's a fine benchmark. I'll do this again uh, with high higher settings just to compare FPS. So that was uh, very hard, of course it's not one down, but you can see like very hard, literally like zero FPS drop, so that's amazing. I'll do it again with high seconds. So these are the settings I'm using for um, the high settings. Make sure to put your VSync on though, since it does help a bit um, in terms of the load of your PC, so it's an overheat. Other on that, that's the recommended settings. 
And of course, 1920 by 1080 resolution. So, as we hop in the game, we are averaging around 120 FPS, which is, isn't bad. Uh, it's, uh, some frame rate drops though to around 90. But overall, it's not bad. I'll just get the cops on me. And well, let's see. My PC is uh, AMD Ryzen 5 1600 with a GTX 1060. Overclocked. Uh, but of course, I'm not overclocking it right now since PD2 is an uh, intensive game. But I'm averaging around 100 FPS, so it's around a boost of 50 FPS, which is amazing. So uh, that's quite a lot, 50 FPS. So averaging around 110, 20, so 50, anywhere from 30 to 50 FPS, which is amazing. That's 50% boost. That's uh, that's quite a lot, and this is this will gradually improve. Uh, the higher, the higher, uh, the higher difficulty is with more cops. This will this could even go to like 60, 70% boost in the frame rate. Even maybe even more, but this is just like like currently I'm at around 100 FPS now. But I'm not sure how to Try not to die. But yeah, you can see how effective this is. Of course, you can. Uh, I would suggest quitting to main menu. I'll, I'll suggest the like the overall balance, like balance between good FPS and good graphics. So. I'd suggest having your resolution at um, 120, 1280 by 800, 1280 by 720. I mean, let me fix it for a second. So 1280 by 720 and this is a good, it's a good resolution, nothing really blurs too much. Uh, effect quality, you don't really need this. Uh, and of course keep the filter in, because it boosts your FPS and it looks better. So once you want to go into advanced, make sure to turn VSync on, so it's 60 FPS if you're using a 160Hz monitor, or 120 FPS if you're using a 120Hz monitor. And it basically makes sure that you your video doesn't your frame rate doesn't change too much. You want to switch off depth of field. You don't want to keep flush CP on. You want to switch off C use HP weapons since it's pretty much useless. Change your texture quality to low. Change your shadow quality to very low. Change, uh, switch off uh, or keep your anti uh, uh, your anti shock filtering off or two times well you can you can keep your I'd suggest keeping your pitch called medium actually since um, it doesn't really affect too much so you uh, anisotropic filtering to two times you want the anim animation quality low anti-aliasing off and the occlusion off your corpse limit low and your frame limit frame rate limit you can keep to unlimited and that is your overall balanced graphics settings. If you guys enjoyed, make sure to give a like and subscribe. And if you want more Pay to 2 videos, make sure to comment down below which ones you would like to see. And I'll see you guys in the next video.